So there are two correct answers to this one. Um, so in order to form at least one pi bond, we had to have a p orbital that's not hybridized. Since we have three total p orbitals, either in sp, which leaves us two p's, um, would work, or we could form three sp2 orbitals, which would leave us a single p orbital. Both of these would allow the formation of at least one pi bond, in the sp case, two pi bonds, in the sp2 case, only one. If we went up to sp3, we would have no p orbitals left over, and that means that we couldn't form any pi bonds.